In this video, we're going to add a windscreen. Let's start by adding a canvas layer. And we need a new scene for our windscreen. Let's make a custom node. And we're going to make this a texture rect. And we're going to call this windscreen. And then let's save it. And let's make it a black texture. And we're going to tile it. And we are going to go to Rect and change the size to 1920 by 1080. And then we want another texture rect. And we are going to just call this gray background. And we're going to drag the gray texture over to texture. And we're going to tile it again. And we're going to set rect to the position. We're going to offset by 100. 100 and then we're going to make the size 1720 by 580 and that looks pretty good so next we want to add a label and let's lock our gray background and then for our label we are going to center it both vertically and horizontally. And then let's type in text of you win with an exclamation. And let's go to rect. And we want our size to be 1720 by 580, just like the gray, rect, gray texture rect that we're inside of. And we want our font. So go down to custom fonts, create a new dynamic font, and then inside of there, go to font and drag over the font that we have. And then set the size of the font to 300. And then scroll down a little bit and in colors, we'll set it to red. You can set it to whatever you want. And then let's go back to our main scene and instance it in. So under canvas layer, we are instancing in the windscreen. And then we need to hide it. And there we go. Now go to our exit scene. And we want to go to area 2D uh, on body entered. And so we're going to create that signal eventually, but we need to set up some scripts for it first. So we don't need our maze gen and maze holder anymore. Let's add a C++ file, call it exit, and a header file, also called exit. And this will be where we trigger our windscreen. So we're also going to need to change root. So go to root.h and in, under public variables, we need a static canvas item pointer, and we'll just call it pcanvas. And then we also need to pound include canvas item.hpp. And in root cpp, we want to declare our static, so canvas item star root pcanvas, and then we want to find it. So let's go down to our ready function. And we want another string. So we'll copy paste. And then we'll change it to JS canvas. And we'll set it for canvas layer. That's what we called it in GitHub. And then we'll add inside of our for loop and else if JS canvas is equal to JS name. Then we want p canvas to equal n. We'll cast it to a node 2D. And we actually, we don't want to cast it to a node 2D. Uh, we want to cast n to a canvas item. And then let's make sure this builds. And we're good for root. 
So then let's go to exit.h and we're gonna pound include Corgado and we're gonna pound include node2d. And then we're gonna pound include texture rect and we're gonna pound include root.h. Then we're in namespace Godot and we're class exit type public node2d and then we want our Godot class macro and it's exit comma node2d and then public variables we want our constructor and destructor and we want static void underscore register methods and we want void underscore init and we want void the uh, signal. So go over to Godot and copy paste it. So on area 2D body entered, and that's gonna take in a variant. And then let's go over to the exit.cpp, pound include exit.h of course, and using namespace Godot. And then let's do our underscore register methods. And we're gonna register method we're going to do underscore area on area 2D body entered. Hopefully that's still on your clipboard. And point it at the function. And that's it. Then we want our underscore init, and it can be empty. And then we want our void exit underscore on area 2D body entered. Takes in a variant that we're not gonna use. And inside here, texture rec star, we'll just call it T, and cast texture rec star from root P canvas get child zero. And then we want t dot set visible to be true. And we want our constructor and destructor. They can be empty. And let's build it. And no errors. So let's go over to Godot library and pound include exit.h and then register class exit. And build it and head over to Godot. And then in Godot, we are going to double click body entered and actually make that signal. Uh, we first need the script attached. So go to exit and attach exit. And then we want um, the inspector. We want to drag over the GDN lib. And then now we can go to area 2D and connect body entered. And then we can close out of the exit scene and run our main scene. And we should get a, a windscreen. And there's our windscreen. Now let's add some buttons to our windscreen so that we can quit or restart. So go back to the windscreen and let's add a texture button. We'll call it quit button. And let's set the texture. We'll make pressed be black and normal be yellow. And then let's approximately drag it to the position and set it about the right size. And then we want to expand it and we want to tile it and then we want to go down to our rect and let's adjust this position a little bit. Make it let's say 100 by 750 for the position. 
and size, we can make it 600 by 250. And that looks like a decent size. So let's go and make a label. And then we'll call this label quit text. And the text we'll just put quit. And then we want to do the rect and make it size 600 by 250 like our button and then we want to center the text vertically and horizontally and we want a font so go down to custom fonts create a new dynamic font and inside of that in font drag the font over and settings size will be let's say 100 that looks pretty good and let's go down and set the color we'll make this blue and there we have a quit button now let's duplicate it well let's lock the quit text first and then let's duplicate it and we'll do restart button and restart text and then for the text in restart text set it to restart and Let's drag it over to about the right place and then go down to rect and let's set position to let's say 1220 by 750 and the size is already correct because we duplicated it so we now have two pretty buttons now let's head back over to Visual Studio we don't need root or exit anymore we are going to make a new class Let's call this windscreen, and we need a header for it as well. And make sure you click header. And inside the windscreen header, let us pound include core Godot and pound include texture rect because that's what we are, and pound include scene tree so that we can quit. Pound include tree pound include root.h and then we are namespace Godot class windscreen type public texture rect and then we want our Godot class macro windscreen comma texture rect and then we want public variables we're going to do our con constructor and destructor and then static void underscore register methods void underscore init and we want our signal functions that they're going to be called so pressed on restart button pressed copy that and paste it over here so void on restart button pressed takes in a variant. And then we want the other one for quit button. Copy that to the clipboard and void takes in a variant. And let's go to our C++ file. So pound include windscreen. And then using namespace Godot. And let's do our void windscreen underscore register methods. We're going to register method star star and just paste it in from our clipboard still. And we're going to point at the correct one. And then register method the other one. I have two restart buttons. All right, let's go back and grab the actual quit button pressed. Make sure to copy it correctly, unlike me. And 
then let's paste that in onto our register method, and then we will pass it the correct pointer. Then we have our windscreen constructor and destructor. They're both going to be empty. And we'll do our init. So windscreen underscore init. That's also empty. And then we want void windscreen underscore on quit button press. And that takes in a variant that we're not going to use. And then we just want to do scene tree pointer. Uh, we'll call T and just get true from that. And then T quit. And that's all we need to do for the quit. And then for boy windscreen underscore on restart button pressed, it also takes in a variant we're not going to use. And we're going to grab the scene tree again, put it into T, so get tree. And then T reload current scene. And that's all we need to do for that. Then let's go to Godot library after we make sure this builds. And let's pound include windscreen. And let's register class windscreen. And that's it. Let's build it. And head over to Godot. Now. Let's attach our script to windscreen. And we need to drag over the GDN lib. And then we can run our main scene. And we should get a windscreen and click quit. And it's not doing anything. All right, uh, let's head to the windscreen and let's actually attach our signals. So there's our quit button signal and then restart button. Go over and click press and connect it. And now it should work. And now restart works and quit works. And that's it.